as demand for electricity soars, innovators are exploring reliable, affordable and efficient clean solutions. Hence, Gaideri Secondary has opted for solar roofing tiles, also called Building Integrated Photovoltaics, an innovation of a Kenyan farm, Strauss Solar Energy. Kamau Kiragu, a teacher at the school, says the tiles supply 2.4 kilowatts of power to cater for their various needs. Our system currently supplies 2.4 kilowatts of power and uh, using the same system we are able now to operate uh, all machines in our schools uh, at the 2.4 kilowatt. We are able to run the school uh, computers. We have the computer lab with 15 computers. We do also have the machines that we use for printing of the exams, the printer, the duplicator, and uh, the computers in the administration block. The initiative has a profound effect. However, there have been challenges. The school intends to innovately store more power using water tanks instead of batteries. The students are pleased with the innovation. This energy club has brought to me a lot of benefits. Like, for example, I'm able to, to improve even in my studies because I usually come here very early in the morning so that I can be able to, to read and I am able to get high marks, more than the marks I used to get when this project was not here. We would like to encourage other pupils and our other parents back at home to apply this tactic of energy conservation. The electricity cost was high, but now as we use this project, those tiles, those solars have reduced. George Ndonga, a solar engineer and entrepreneur with over 30 years experience, says local innovators are breaking decades-old domination by foreign farms. He laments that high demand for solar energy has led to flooding of the market with poor quality products and emergence of quarks. He calls for better policies and regulatory bodies to protect local innovations. The policies are there. And the government has put in very, very good policies to protect indigenous um, innovators or manufacturers. And um, the policy one is buy Kenya, build Kenya. Number two is local content. And this is actually Manufacturer, manufacturing is, uh, is among the big agenda, of, uh, big four agenda for the government. Unfortunately, the government procurement department is working at cross purposes with its own policy. When it comes to purchasing, or when it comes to purchasing, they don't consider the locals. And then they also ignore the other, yeah, they don't, they ignore the locals and go for imports or for foreigners at the expense of two important things which are also in the for in the agenda of big agenda big, big for agenda ndonga says collaborative research should be adopted by innovators noting the sector has huge potential despite challenges the prospect is good the market is there Willing buyers are there. What is lacking is expertise. Let them gain this, get this expertise through joining relevant uh, institutions. Unfortunately, in Kenya, even the universities, they are biased towards a PV. This is what is being taught. But water heating is a technology is hardly taught here. It's not taught in Kenya. What they, are only, they only barely touch on it. To understand the, 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 the physics of hot water, the thermodynamics of uh, solar energy, the science of it, is not taught. That's why you see we've got a lot of mess in the, in the, in the market because of this. Growth in local innovations is not happening in a vacuum. It has been accelerated by the Kenya Climate Innovation Center, where Strauss Energy incubated the solar tiles technology. The center's CEO, Edward Mungai, says solar innovations mark the number of innovations they support. 
and also calls for collaborative research with universities and research bodies as well as partnerships for commercialization of new technologies. Universities and, and uh, institutions like KILDI, institutions like Kenya Renewable Energy uh, Association are all very instrumental in helping us achieve this goal of having more solar system being used in Kenya. Well, we have seen a couple of research coming from universities where people have come up with brilliant ideas on how we can use solar and we have helped them to move it to commercialization. Because you need to notice that a lot of research in this country is lying in the university libraries. It is our job to help and commercialize those ideas. Mungai says innovators are receiving support to overcome obstacles.